Hello, good morning, and welcome back to another edition of The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, The Juice Review Show, brought to you by the Department of Inhaled Vapors. Now, the two I want to show you today, because this is part two of my review on the new stuff from Refuse Vapors that I got sent, will be Lola from the Pink Gorilla range, and also Custard Fusion from their Barrel range. Um, have got to say, for the rest, any views or opinions you hear during this review are mine and mine alone. I've not been paid to do this review. I did not pay for the product. The product was sent to me for review purposes. Also got to state any personal preferences, setups, and of course power levels will alter what you get from a juice. I can only tell you what I'm getting myself. Weapon of choice again will be weapon of choice once again I meant to say will be the smart priv too. And that is dual coiled at 0.22 in the Mako dripper. Won't go through labels and all this lot on this one because I did that in part one. So we're just gonna crack straight on with this one. I've had the pleasure of doing reviews for these guys for close on four years now. And it's been good. It's been great. It's been great seeing this company expand its range and build to what it is now. And they've always surprised me. I say they're only a, they're a family, small family run business. And the quality of the stuff they produce beats a lot of these multi-billion pound organisations that we've got cropping up all over the planet. And it's always a pleasure to do a review from uh, It's always a pleasure to do a review from mainly because of the reason is, if there has been any negatives, they've taken them on board. A lot of companies will just write you off saying, oh, you don't know what you're doing and all this lot. But no, they've always taken them on board and strived to improve the product that they give you guys. And I always give a company credit for that. Anyway, um, Lola, I'm going to start this off at 60.8 watts, which is 3.7 volts. Here we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. No throw it again, but that's trademark for their products as a general rule. Clouds are exactly what they should be for an AE20 VGPG, which is what these are. Flavour again. Um, one thing I, I've always had high regards for this company is um, their strawberry flavours. Their strawberry flavours are generally one of the best on the market you can get. All your horny strawberries and all that lot. It's one of the best strawberries you can get. And it's back again with this one. Uh, slight, just slightly, very slightly sugared. But on the exhale, you get this incredibly Moorish custard. And it is, and it's proper custard. It's proper bird's powder custard. Which then works really well with the strawberries, giving it a nice creamy edge. A slight hint of vanilla in there. There's a, there's a proper old custard flavour going on there. I have taken this round a few people to try this one, because I know there's, there's still a lot of custard fans out there. And I think the best description I had, and actually... I can quite really agree with it at this very moment in time. It tastes what mother it tastes what mother's milk should have done. This is probably the one of the best custards I've had. And combined with their strawberry to bring out this really nice, rich, creamy strawberry custard is absolutely heavenly. And it takes a lot for me to say this because I'm quite broadcasting this to the world or to anyone who'd actually listen. That's really good. That strawberry is phenomenal. And that little sweetened edge then goes into the custard as well. And then it all just swirls around as this lovely creamy strawberry. That's, yeah, it's 
not often I'm lost for words, but yeah. <laughs> Oh, gorgeous. I'm going to have a little bit more in here and then I'll go up. Because I'm going to dry this out. I'm going to dry hit this how much I'm hitting this. Oh. Um, grave. Custard. 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 Right. I'm going to go up to 70.8. Or 4 volts. Here we go. Clouds are really voluptuous and really smooth. Oh, sugar's gone up a ickle bit on the strawberries. Strawberry flavour's gone up as well, and still got that lush custard. Custard comes in a little bit earlier, gives you more of a combo in the mouth straight off. Are ah, left with that sugary at the end as everything starts to die down. Good grief. That's just so good. If you're a fan of custard, go for that one. Lola on the Pink Gorilla range from Refuse Vapors. That is, um, and I've got to say, that's a very strong range they've released there. That is a very strong line of juices that have come out there. They've had hits before in the past. I mean, um, their Neo, which was a frozen, uh, fr it was a frozen Neapolitan yogurt. Gorgeous. They're baby cakes, which is a pineapple cake with that vanilla cake underscore to it as well. I still say, I know I said it in part one, I want to see these guys properly in the UK. Because I think they do well. I think they do very well with the strength of the, and the quality of the stuff they're bringing out. I'm going to go up to 77. I don't really want to. Because once again, I found my happy spot. Yeah, 77.8 or 4.2 volts. Oh, actually, well, uh, this kind of flips itself the higher up it goes. That custard will come through a lot stronger the more power you put through. Knocks the strawberry kind of into the exhale range. But you are left with that little lip stacking kind of sugary aftertaste. Now, I can't fault that at all. Again, that is Lola from the Pink Gorilla range. That is, um, mm. I'm going to a quick blowout and then I should move on to the last one. Now I'm going to move on to the Custard Fusion from their barrel. Now, um, this is the, the basically the remix version of their original Custard Fusion. What this has done is they've steeped this, I can't remember for how long, I put, do apologize for that, in an oak, in a vanilla bourbon oak cask. And let those flavours actually just integrate into the flavouring as well. I love their Coffee Cafe one of this. I love their Drunken Louie. And I'm not a fan of tobacco flavours as a rule. But their Drunken Louie is one of the best I've tasted. So I'd be interested to see how this Custard Fusion. Custard Fusion is a favourite of mine anyway. It's a butterscotch custard. It really is creamy, rich and luxurious. So I'll be interested to see what this is like now. So we're going to go back down to 60.8. Or three point seven volts. No throat hit, good clouds. The first thing that hits you on this is how vanillary this is now. A right old vanilla custard. It kind of knocks the edge off the butterscotch, so you just got a really, really creamy vanilla custard. Then on the exhale, you kind of get that slight oak woody taste. This kind of gives it a more of an aged flavouring. Not really getting... There's a little there's a little taint of bourbon in that exhale as well, which does go well with the creaminess. 
That's why so many women drink Baileys. It works. Mm. But straight off the bat, if you're a fan of vanilla, go for this one. If you can, because they normally do these only at like a cask at a time at certain points of the year. These are normally a very limited run. So if you do find anyone that's got these, I'd go for it. I mean, if I remember rightly, this one is a 70-30. Oh, for that vanilla. Oh, it's like a blast of vanilla air. And that's, ah. Oh. And then you just get that kind of woody with little hints. There's not, there's not overpowered little hints of bourbon dancing through that ending. Mmm. I was up to 70.8. It's just a different edge from the traditional custards that we have all grown accustomed to over the years. There we go, 70.8 or 4 volts. Oh. Higher up, you kind of get a little hint of the butterscotch in with the uh, very vanilla -y custard bourbon comes through a little bit stronger at the end not enough to give you throat burn or any of that crap that we've had from so many ones that have tried to do a spirits drink in the past and that lovely woody mm. kind of like a reverse blowjob <laughs> got the you got the juice in your mouth and then you end up with a woody um that's very good Actually, that, 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 just that aged wood hint of flavour and going through it really does make this nice. Right, I'm going to go up to 77.8 for the last part, which would be 4.2 volts. Actually, just going to put a little bit more on there. Get a tad dry. Oh, that vanilla just takes over. And then all the other ones come into play at various stages, but that's a really, really thick old cus thick old strong custard. Higher up the butterscotch comes into play more, pushes the vanilla back a tad, but then you're still left with that bourbon cask. Actually, the bourbon cast flavour does come through a bit stronger in the exhale. <laughs> the bourbon bit just sits right on the front of the tongue, so everything else just flows over it. That's good. That's good. That is basically, well, I've, I've said this about all these, their, their cast range. It tastes like a mature version of the original. It does taste like a very mature bait, but one I could just after dinner sit down and uh, actually just relax to. That is custard fusion from Refuge Vapors and that's from their Barrel Reserve range. So all it leaves me to do now is give a massive thank you, and I do mean a massive thank you to Rachel and Brent Breen from Refuge Vapors for sending me this stuff. Um, keep up the good work guys, please. I know you're going through a shitstorm in the States at the moment, but please keep up the good work because you, you, your products are excellent. Um, and a big thank you to each and every one of you for watching. If you have enjoyed what you've watched today, please like, share, comment, and of course subscribe to the channel. Nice to be back very, very soon with some more reviews. Take care, people.